Hey folks, welcome into a special Pro Football Ireland on uh, Thursday or Friday. I don't know what day is going to go out. Michael McQuaid on a mini buy this week, as you see with some of the content. In Barcelona, I finally thought it would be time for actually take my significant over around the globe instead of going to NFL games. Got a big game in Frankfurt on Sunday, buzzing for that. Ruben Vargas, Ruben, before I welcome you in, I took the weather with me. We, we started recording out here and it, 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 it immediately started <laughs> to rain, so uh, no bueno. But here, great to see you, man. How are you doing? Irish weather, no? It's following us. Huh? The Marley. British weather and Irish weather. Well, it's it's not good. Like literally, <laughs> we were talking for two minutes and suddenly it just it just went. Well, this in Spain we say when it's raining it's a rich way, you know. Like it's good for us because we don't have many rains in Spain. <laughs> so for me it's a good luck. It's uh, it's it's great to see you. I obviously see you at some London games and stuff. So it's good to see you and thank you for showing us around the city today as well. I guess for people that are listening to this or watching this, especially from Ireland or the UK. Who is Ruben Vargas? Obviously, congratulations, felicidades on the NFL Mundo. Talk to us a bit about yourself. So Ruben is a passionate about the sport in general, uh, majorly American sports. Uh, when I was a kid, I always I get passionate about New York, about Home Alone movies, uh, about the New York culture. I lived there for two years. I love New York. I love the New York Giants. And I think uh, at the end, you finish like that, no? following the team, following the league. Uh, making content with Zona Gigantes, with the Spanish Bowl, later now with uh, Mundo NFL, is like the official outlet yeah. of the NFL in Spanish. So at the end, I think uh, a dream come true, like you, you know, like following all the games, being there in London, being there in, in Las Vegas, like you with, for the Super Bowls. Um, very happy to be here with you guys and always uh, trying to make the, the game bigger in all the world. Well, congratulations on your success. And if people didn't see, Ruben is now working with NFL Mundo, which is it's great to see how... And I think this is the one thing that a lot of us have in common, even outside the UK, like like a lot of sort of places want to grow. And it's it's a really, really important time, I know, for the Spanish market. So we're buzzing for you guys, buzzing for you, and obviously wish you the very, very best going forward. Um, it, it is a really, really cool time. And I feel, first off, I think we, we might as well address, not, not the elephant in the room, but, you know, we were talking about it in London, yourself, uh, Diego as well. Hi, Diego, if you're watching. But, you know, they've came out the NFL in the last few weeks, Peter O'Reilly, and mentioned, I will stress this in the best way possible, the possibility of a game or exploring Madrid as a city potentially as early next year. Um, I mean, there's only so much you can probably say, but do you think it'll happen next year? Or, like, wh what's your thoughts on the general? I'm very positive, Michael. At the end, uh, Spain after Mexico is the second biggest market of the mm. NFL in our language, in Spanish. Uh, the Azteca uh, Stadium is now under construction. They are renovating all the stadium. For the next two years, they're not going to be available. So for them, Spain is a perfect market because they know how well uh, Germany work, England work. Uh, they know that this flight to Europe is pretty easy in uh, six, seven hours. Yeah. You're in a different continent, but it's not like really long a strip like Australia or another continent. And I think Spain is perfect because it's ready for the tourism, have all the infrastructures, have the hotels. It's ready for, for this kind of events. I think that's the one thing that a lot of us share in common. If you're Irish, UK, whatever, we've all been to Spain and the Holly Bobs and we all know how great, you know, what a great country Spain is. And Madrid is such a great city. If you're a soccer fan, if you're a football fan, I can only imagine. I mean, have you got a preference? Where you like? Would you like to see it in the Bernabeu or, or the Metropolitano? For people wondering, Metropolitano is Atletico's new stadium. It's going to be open in about five, six years, max. Bernabeu, recently done up. I'm going to be like really jealous here and say, I'm going to put the marker down. I'd love to see it in Real Stadium because it's been done up. But again, I wouldn't be surprised if it's done in, in Atletico Stadium. But it's going to be awesome wherever it is. Michael, if you think about the uh, international fans that they're going to come for the game in Madrid, si. I think it's <laughs> <laughs> you're one of them, of course. Absolutely. Uh, I think it's easier to go to the Metropolitano because it's closer to the airport by the highway. You don't need to pass by the city. Uh, you have more space to do all the bands, all the different um, uh, target activities, and all the. It's, it's more like Wembley Stadium no, in London. And the other one, for example, the Santiago Bernabéu is more like Tottenham. It's more difficult to put all the stands, to put all the activities, all the different events. And for the moment, I think the first game in uh, Metropolitano will be the best, better first touch 
with the Spanish uh, NFL, in my opinion. Interesting. I will definitely play this back as an Instagram read, please God, soon. I'm sure we'll hear something very soon also in regards to that once we get these next few weeks over. And for people wondering, uh, the Bears, the Dolphins have the marketing rights in Spain, like we've got the Steelers and the Jaguars uh, in the island of Ireland, both north and south. So pretty cool to see. It's a cool time for the league internationally. Um, have you seen the Bears and Dolphins do much in this region, like over the last few weeks and years, or what's been that like? Yeah, especially the Bears are really focused on the Spanish market. They're doing a lot of activities with Cien Yardas. Cien Yardas is probably the biggest. Good guys. Uh, yeah, Good guys. Amazing people. They are my brothers, really nice guys. Um, they do an hour collaboration with the most famous podcast of NFL in Spain, that is Cien Yardas, and they are really focused to be an important market in Spain. For me, probably the Bears could be this team that plays for the first time in Madrid or 2025 in Barcelona probably. Maybe the Dolphins as have a Hispanic market in, in, in Florida maybe didn't put that much effort like the Bears in yeah. Spain. But any of, of one team can be, can be the team that plays there. Yeah, I think like we've seen, I know they had a party at the, or like a joint party yes. at the Hard Rock Cafe last year. In Hard Rock Cafe, yeah. Yeah, and Sean Gill, obviously former Chicago Bears Super Bowl winner, he used to do a lot of the TV stuff in Sky, so well known to us. Look, for me, I'm, I'm buzzing with the prospect of going to Spain next year. I know my wife, who's sitting opposite, will be <laughs> very happy to go to Madrid for a weekend shopping, but I'm, I tapas, think it's great. Tapas, tapas y cervezas, y football. Um, the good thing is, if it's at Atletico Stadium, Real could be playing in the Bernabeu. That, that'll be some weekend. Exactly. We'll see. Um, looking forward to it. I think the country clearly deserves a game, from what I have seen from social media, from speaking to people. I obviously am selfish, thinking that we deserve a game. We'll, we'll get there in time. I think you guys are up next, and you, you, you all deserve it. And you know, look, continue success so just to what you guys are doing. Anybody I've met from Spain with the NFL has been great, been a great support to us. And um, shout out to the lads at 100 yardas. How, how do you say 100 in Spanish? 100. 100 yardas. 100 yardas. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There yeah, we go. actually, Javi and uh, Iker are going next week to Chicago for do some official stuff with the Giant, uh, with the Bears. Sorry. Mm. So, congratulations to them and these people is making the the, 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 the the game growing up so much in Spain and it's the first official podcast in Spain to have a collaboration directly with official franchise in, in, in the NFL. Brilliant to see. Frankfurt this weekend, I know you're not going to be there. Um, have you got FOMO? Are you like, oh my God, man, I genuinely think, and I'm not just saying this because you're not going, I mean it seriously. We're, I'll be there from Saturday morning if you see us say hello <laughs> going, going back home tomorrow straight to Frankfurt I can't wait I mean the prospect of seeing Tua and Mahomes in a stadium in Europe an hour and a half two hours from home is is pretty special I don't know how the hell the NFL have pulled this off this is going to be a special game this weekend have you any like last minute like oh I want to go or maybe yes but I have some plans with the Giants on the end of the month so uh, I'm confident to do another thing but if Mahomes do those two passes of touchdown in this game, it's going to be equal like Peyton Manning yes. and also like uh, Dan Marino in just five years in the league. It's absolutely insane what Mahomes is five doing years, in the league. two-time Super Bowl champion. It's incredible. First game, I believe, he's going up against Tyreek. Should have been, sorry, in Kansas City. Should have been in Kansas City. It's in Frankfurt. It's amazing. I don't think Tyreek's happy about that. He's, he's happy enough. I'm only joking. But... Um, I was saying to you over food, like Munich was so yeah. it was so special last year, so I, I can't wait. I even think the game next week, the Colts against the Patriots, to have the Patriots over like Sebastian Vollmer, it's a big day for him. But would you see the fanfare in Spain very similar to Germany? Because Germany's off the charts, man. Germany is incredible. How the fans always uh, attend the games, how they always been so passionate about what what is going on in Germany. For me, make every Germany game special, you know, it's mm. so special. Doesn't matter if it's in Munich, doesn't matter if it's in Frankfurt, in Berlin, whatever it is. I think they make like a big celebration of the NFL in Germany. And I think we will see that. It's a little bit uh, sad that it's in Frankfurt because the stadium is not that big. But I think next year we're going to be back in Munich or maybe in Berlin, bigger stadiums. And We're it's gonna be crazy. it's gonna be great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it on, can't wait. Hopefully, see you there next year. We'll see. And if you get there next weekend, give me a shout. Looking forward to it this weekend, folks. I know there's a lot of you flying over. Do you give us a shout if you see us. We'll be in the square on Saturday, and there, then there on Sunday over weekends. Please let us know. 
Um, I was going to talk to you about this weekend. Let's talk about the Giants very quickly. Um, going up against the Raiders on Sunday, and I have to ask you this because we were totally joking around it. Like, what a time to play the Raiders. Do, do you feel like, like, the Patriots are playing the Commanders on Sunday, and I think Mac Jones is like almost breathing a sigh of relief in terms of the <laughs> players, like Chase Young, Montez Sweat. Yeah. But like for you, I, I don't know. If I was a Giants fan, I'm like, oh my god, like this Raiders team are going to be fired up. And I know they have not played well this season. I know there's talk about changing the quarterback. But from watching your guys, like, press conference, you think to yourself, they're definitely going to come out and give it a go on Sunday. Are, are you confident of winning in Vegas on Sunday? Or? I think with Daniel Jones and Andrew Thomas on the left tackle, we have more options to win the game. But also Antonio Pierce, it's, it's, a, it's a big legend in Giants. Yeah. He, he was the linebacker for the Giants when they won the, the first Super Bowl in 2008. Um, I think it's, an, it's a nice change for the Riders. It's going to be like different leader for this team. Um, it's difficult to always uh, be playing against another coach, another mindset, no? because this guy is going to say, hey guys, we have to win this game. We're going to play different. We're going to be motivated. Yeah. And I think we're going to see another Riders this Sunday also with another quarterback. But for me, Daniel Jones make an upgrade from Tyler, Tyler Taylor, uh, Andrew Thomas didn't play since like week one against the Cowboys. For me, he's one of the best three or four left tackles in the league. It, it's going to make a biggest difference also for Saquon, for Daniel Jones. And the defense is playing pretty well. Michael, to be honest, is one of the best defense right now yeah. on, on the league. Um, I'm confident that the Giants can have a win and try to have a good momentum with, with, the, with the NFL in general. It's going to be an interesting game on Sunday, especially because it's away from home. It was it, look, it wasn't a great game last week. Defensively, good performance. You know, getting getting on the board there. Yeah. And um, we're coming into week nine. Just generally, and I, I have not prepared this guy at all. So just by my question, <laughs> generally, what do you think has been the one storyline of the season so far? For me, it's been just how random the season has been. You cannot call so many things each week. Like for me seeing how good the Jaguars are I know it's the end of the season very very well last year is one thing that Browns defense is just it's so exciting to watch but as, as every year every division every team has got storylines has there been one that you think stands out or one that you think doesn't get enough attention so far three nine weeks for me the Jaguars are this team that they are under the radar no mm. um, after the two games win in London we can see the defense, no? Uh, it's playing so well. Yeah. Also the attack, I think, with Calvin Ridley and with all the different weapons with Evan Engram, with the new contract. Also Trevor Lawrence is playing more confident this year with Travis Etienne as well. I think uh, the Jaguars could be this uh, dark horse on the AFC. But for me, the biggest storyline probably is the Ravens, no? Many people th was thinking that this Ravens team with the Odell Beckham Jr. is not working pretty well. Lamar Jackson with the new contract is going to be more relaxed. I think this, this uh, Baltimore Ravens can win every, any team. We saw it with the Detroit Lions last week. It's a really dangerous, them. Yeah, it's really dangerous team. And if they have the day in defense and they can uh, establish their running game, they can win any, any team in this league. Michael. The... Um even the way the Ravens took to London, I was very impressed with. Like, and nobody really thought that they would go out and destroy yeah, the Lions. It, exactly. it was incredible to see. But Lamar looks like he's took the next level up, doesn't he? It's just been, it's been great to see. Um, in terms of the Super Bowl, in terms of Vegas, we've talked about the Eagles off camera. You, you don't think they're going to get there. You, 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 you feel like they might sort of drop. Because for me, I, I like obviously like the whole generic conversation is you got the Niners you got the mm -hmm. Eagles in the, in the NFC and there's way more talent in the, in the AFC with that but I don't know man I just look at this Eagles team and I feel like this is the year for me that they get over the line but are you, are you not convinced on Jalen Hurts uh, uh, in terms of what that, terms um, of that? I think the Eagles are one injury away to be out of the conversation of the Ooh. Super Bowl in the O-line we saw when uh, Lane Johnson had this injury and he didn't play on the right tackle um Jalen Hart didn't have this many time to think how this offensive of uh, Sirianni changed globally. So for me, the Eagles are not the team of last year. I think they changed important. Uh, they, they lose the DC, exactly. they lose the OC, and that 
for, I think for any team that's huge, I'm actually surprised at how many games they've won because of but that. But you saw the Commanders last week, how they yeah. compete them, and the Commanders are not that good team to compete them. I mean, the Giants won Commanders yeah. week before. I don't think the Eagles are that great team like the Niners are right now, or like, I don't know, the Cowboys. For me, the Cowboys are a better team than the Eagles right now. Got a few quick fire questions to finish up. You literally put it in my head there now. Niners played the Vikings two weeks ago. Kirk Cousins, would you, would you take him in New York next year? With Achilles injury? No. He, he can come back. Sure, it's having these injuries is like the new quarterback. Like, I mean, look at Aaron Rodgers. He's clearly prey to some demons. Yeah, Michael, but the Achilles injury in some age, it's quite difficult to be back in the same way. You think know? he'll come back? I, I, like, I, think he'll, I think he will push himself to come back. I like the guy, to be yeah. honest with you. I think, I think he's, he seems like a nice guy. Um, I think he'd be perfect for you guys. I don't know. No? We'll I, th I, think, I think they're going to be one another year with Daniel Jones or maybe an, next year go for a quarterback on the draft. But I don't see Kirk Cousins coming to the big couple. If it's the Metropolitano next year for Madrid and if it's the if it's the Chicago Bears, who would you like to see them play? New York Giants. Outside of the Giants. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Broncos will be good also in the FEC, you know? I, I actually looked at their schedule a few days ago. I mean, if they could play the Dolphins, it would be awesome, but you almost feel like it would keep that year on year, maybe. Yeah. Build it. Especially, when I, especially with Miami being in Frankfurt this weekend. Um, no, two more. Who's going to win this weekend, Miami or Kansas City? I'm going to say Miami. I think Miami, they've been there since Tuesday. I, I mean, why are, Kansas, why are they going on the Friday? What's I'm with you. On? I think Miami going to win this game. Yeah. I think um, they lose against your Broncos last week. It's going to open a lot of, like, mentally a can of worms exactly say. yeah so for me Miami away in Europe in Frankfurt have the confidence like with this attack Jalen Brands is back uh, he's gonna make big, big, big plays in defense for me Miami is the favorite for this game I just want it to be a good game man. Yeah. Uh, finally who is your Super Bowl matchup who is your winner <sighs> it's a good question huh? will you be in Vegas you gotta go to Vegas I hope I hope well, so I hope so come on. gotta do it <laughs> Who, I, who's going to be there? I think the Niners is going to be there. And I think the Baltimore Ravens is going to be there. Does Aaron Rodgers come back in December? But the Jets, <laughs> the Jets in attack need much more than, than if Aaron Rodgers. If, if they have eight wins, I think he comes back. Yeah. I, I do. You saw them on the Super Bowl? I had them going there at the start of yeah. the year. I don't know. Like Probably not now. I have. I think It's going to be the best history in life in the NFL. It's the best season in the Cinderella sense of the storyline. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I have. I think it'll be a rematch. I think it'll be Eagles Kansas City. I think even if Kansas City loses, the week, same game of last year. Kansas City go in divisional, so win it. That, that's where I'm at now. It's like, oh okay. my god. Okay. Um, here, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Uh, gracias a todos. Is pleasure, that even brother. good English, Spanish? Or? Gracias hermano. Gracias hermano. Um, Frankfurt, Saturday, Sunday. Oh my god. Here we go. Auf Gets, Dolphins, Chiefs. Ruben, thank you so much. Follow this guy. <laughs> What's your at X X? Twitter or X? X, ah, no, it's no more Twitter. R Ruben Vargas. Uh, Ruben F. Vargas in Instagram and Twitter. Zona Gigantes and NFL Mundo. I will chat to you soon. Soon? Can I, I'm talking like a Spanish person now. <laughs> Adios y gracias, Ruben. Y gracias, Barcelona. Por tu tiempo. I'll see you on Sunday in Frankfurt. I've got...